This is a genuine question from someone who has children. Why are mothers so triggered by people that don't want kids? Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So this video, it is an interesting video and it's all about child free. So this video is a video of a mother who came to ask the question for women to share. Why do they think that mothers are triggered by child free women? If you're a child free woman by choice, you know that sometimes women that have children are triggered by <laughs> us are like oh why don't you want kids kids are the most beautiful thing that can ever happen to you and this mother was asking why and this striked a conversation of both child-free women and mothers why they are triggered and they were just sharing their thought on why some mothers share their thought on why they are triggered by um, child-free women and child-free women share why they think they trigger mothers and i find this conversation very very interesting but let me know down in the comment section if you're a mother you're a child-free woman i want to know what do you think that is the reason why mothers are triggered by child-free women anyway guys let's go check out this video what is the sister's question and then people's reaction to it this is a genuine question from someone who has children why are mothers so triggered by people that don't want kids i really need an answer okay. so if someone could respectfully let me know that would be great why are mothers honestly i feel like if you are self-aware enough to realize that you don't want to have kids like i applaud you because there are too many people that have kids that really shouldn't have kids mm -hmm. and they just did it because they just wanted to check off a milestone but I will say the thing because there is just this um, expectation, especially here on social media, that if you have a child free life, that that now correlates to a child free world where people are openly and without shame calling mothers breeders, where they're asking for more child free spaces in places like Disney World, for the love of God, where they're recording children having tantrums in public and spinning that as free birth control. So I don't have a problem with anybody who is child free by choice, but don't come at me for having a kid in a country that doesn't cater to them or to me. From someone who has children, why are mothers so triggered by- So from my perspective as a woman that is openly child-free by choice, uh, I actually get more hate from women that don't have kids but eventually want them. Some of my biggest supporters in my choice are mothers because they know what it's like to be a mom and what it entails. Mm. And so they can completely understand why someone would choose to not subject themselves to that. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. There are some moms that are like, this is the best thing ever. You're missing out. Mm -hmm. Your life is a failure if you don't have them. But for the most part, moms support me the most. Obviously, other child free by choice women support me too. But when it comes down to my biggest haters it's women that want to eventually have kids but don't have them now because they just think how could you not want that mm -hmm. it's the best thing ever because they're still they don't know yet mm -hmm. they don't know they don't know <laughs> why are mothers so triggered by people that don't want kids i think it's because for a lot of moms their identity is wrapped up and being a mom. Mm -hmm. Motherhood is marketed as this very selfless role for women in life. Selfless being the key word because you lose a big sense of self uh, being a mom, which of course you do. You now have a tiny human whose needs and wants have to come before your own. And if what we're always told is that we're so selfless, what's the opposite of that? selfish right mm -hmm. which puts such a negative connotation on that word that i don't think should be there i think there's a stigma around women who are child free by choice there's this idea that either they wouldn't be good moms or they think they wouldn't be good moms or that they don't understand what motherhood entails i think it's actually opposite i think they've thought a lot about what being a mom actually means and they've just chosen differently. I think the fact that they've put so much thought into that decision mm -hmm. means they would probably be a good mom. And I think mm -hmm. um, they'd agree. Why are mothers so triggered by people that don't want kids? So I'm sure this is very dependent on your circle and what stage of life you're in, but I feel like I have never experienced a mother or anybody for that matter who is triggered by somebody else just not wanting to have kids. What I have seen way more is people who 
so feel so strongly about not wanting to have kids and they just make it a whole personality trait is them making nasty comments to parents like it ruins your body kids are disgusting i want to have money i don't want to be broke i want to travel and it's just kind of like what what weird comments to make to somebody who does have kids so obviously yes after that i am going to tell you how much i love being a mother and how it's the best thing that's ever happened to me it's worth every penny like that is not me being triggered you just shit on my whole life basically for example when i had neck surgery a few months ago the nurse was asking me like just personal small talk questions like are you married do you have kids i said yes i'm married i have one kid and then like a few minutes later she sees that i'm 28 like she sees my age and she's like oh you got married young you're a young mom like didn't you want to experience life and i'm just kind of like again what a weird comment to make to somebody who already has a kid like yes i am experiencing life i love my life and she was like in her mid 30s and she was married and had a kid but just because she got married a few years after me and had her kid at like 35. So to end this rant, I guess just keep your opinions on people's life decisions to yourself. Okay. Why are mothers so triggered by people that don't want kids? I think it's because it stings some of us who's, who have decided to be mothers when we think about what was the real reason we want, why we wanted to be a mother. Mm -hmm. For many of us, it's because, at least for a person like me, it was because I sought identity. I sought identity that was acceptable cared for, supported, and affirmed by the greater society. Because all the things that I was, in my mind, was not. I'm a child who grew up in significant childhood trauma and poverty, a person who had an absent father, a person who ended up in foster care and aged out, a person of color, a brown person, a brown girl. And to me, those identities weren't of any worth or any of value. So I thought, well, if I'm a mother, now I'm something to be proud of. Now I'm something that people will admire and people will respect and people will affirm. Mm -hmm. But when you get into the actual day-to-day -day life of being a mother mm. and you realize how no one cares how you feel, when you realize how much work it is, when you realize how much how selfless you have to be, how self disappears, who you are as a person disappears, and the society doesn't value you, and you're not even sometimes valued in your own home. Mm -hmm. Then you look back at those women or people who say they didn't want to have kids, and then you realize, ah, those people had a sense of self. Mm. They, the identities and who they are as a person, they know. And they don't need to go and find an identity or find a label to put on themselves to be acceptable because they're acceptable and okay just as they are. Mm -hmm. And when you're in the midst of it and you look at it, it stings. It stings because you realize you didn't have a sense of self. And remember, you can feel this way and still love being an, a mother. You can feel this way and still love your children very much. Yeah. But there is a mourning and regret you feel about how you disregarded yourself hoping to find an identity that would be accepted and affirmed by others instead of realizing that who you are just as a human being, as a woman, as a person, is okay. Mm. Why are mothers so triggered by people that don't want kids? Misery loves company. <laughs> That's really all that is. Okay. Why are mothers so triggered by people that don't want kids? I'm not. I literally could not give the fuck if you want kids or not. You don't want kids? Great not for you also what i am triggered by is you thinking that because you personally do not want your own children that you're entitled to a child-free world and that you think that my children should not exist in public spaces or simply spaces you don't want them to be in why are mothers so triggered by people that don't want kids so i can't speak for all mothers i can just talk about my own experience so I came to motherhood late in the game. I'm almost 40 years old. Um, I had my little boy when I was 38. I was pretty adamantly child-free by choice until I accidentally got pregnant and decided that this is actually what I really wanted. And the thing that really grinds my gears about the child-free by choice community, um, primarily it is the influencers in that community. Is it's... It feels very dystopian for me okay. that Roe v. Wade was overturned and that now we have 
many states. Arizona recently is just an example that have extremely draconian laws around. And so for me, I see a lot of these child free by choice folks talking about how their life is so wonderful without having children in it and that they save money they have more free time etc etc that they can pursue their purpose without being burdened and meanwhile there are countless countless people being forced to give birth one in three people who are capable of giving birth do not have access to reproductive health care. And this is what triggers me the most as a mother, is that so many of these influencers who claim to have all of this free time, I have yet to see a single one of them scream about reproductive health care rights for all. And that's what they base their entire identity and platform on, on social media. That is what triggers me. It is dystopian to see someone forced to give birth and have no choice in the matter and then have somebody scream about how they love their child free by choice life without also screaming about reproductive health care for all. And that is what triggers me. Why are mothers so triggered by people that don't want kids? I have kids. I love, love my child-free kids. In fact, I wanted to be child-free. So bear with me because this response is coming from a place of like where I can see why people choose not to have children. I don't think it's so much that they are mad that other people won't have kids. But part of that, I think the the women or the the people that are angry like don't want to be alone like misery loves company so to speak right like motherhood is isolating it's lonely it can be very lonely and it feels like we are experiencing things that people don't understand and we want other people to understand because people women who don't have children don't seem to want to understand but yet that's silly because they do this is obviously why they're not having kids so someone's listening to us but more so i i I really think to that point it's the lack of the village we embarked on motherhood thinking we would have support we would have other people in our corner we would have we would have a way to enjoy motherhood and a safe space where our kids could learn from other people but it seems like childless people a lot of them don't really want anything to do with children. And I know for me, that's the frustrating thing because my children need more than me. They need more than my husband. They need people who love and adore children and who are safe. There's so many unsafe people in the world. There are so many, like when we meet a new, a new person or, an, or, or a stranger or, you know, whoever, we feel this sense of, oh my gosh, are you safe for my kid? Are you safe for my kid? So when we see other women who don't want kids, we think, man, like you would be an awesome parent. You would be a safe place for kids to go. Yeah. Um, and I know for me, like that's, that's kind of the, the, you know, my resentment, I don't resent having kids, but I do resent not having a village. I do resent not being able to say to you know, an auntie or a friend or whoever, like, hey, can you hang out with my kids for a few hours? Like, people don't, they don't want to. Mm -hmm. And it sucks because our kids need more than us. They need more than their school teachers. They need wise elders to see them, to hear them, to listen to their stories, to play with them, to teach them, to show them that there are other ways of being other than mom and dad, which is 
probably why our kids resent mom and dad, right? Because they think that we're withholding these people from them Mm -hmm. and we're not. So those are my two cents. I don't know if this helps at all, but love you guys. Bye. This is a genuine question from someone who has children. Why are mother... I'm in the mood to make the internet mad at me today. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm child free on purpose. Not by choice, on purpose. I talk to my therapist about this regularly because it's really hard to make friends as an adult and it's especially hard to make new friends as an adult as a woman who doesn't want children because I am such um, an anomaly in most circles that I'm a part of and I find that really fascinating. To me, I don't really care if you have children. Um, It's not necessarily like a disqualifier to me for friendship, but what is hard to overcome is the reason why I don't want children being a barrier to genuine friendship, in my opinion. I don't want children because I have observationally seen two women in my life, in my sphere, in my circle, who seem genuinely, at least from the outside, observationally, genuinely fulfilled in their role as mom. I'm not saying that all the rest of them don't love their kids not saying that they don't have fun with their kids sometimes. I am saying genuine fulfillment in their role as mom. Sure, they get tired, whatever, but on the whole, they seem fulfilled. For that reason, I don't think that fulfillment in that role is a realistic potential outcome in making that decision because I have observed. So, in saying that I don't want that, if there are any follow-up questions, I either cannot answer them because they are offensive, because you can't just be like, your life looks like it sucks to me, because that's rude, I guess. Um, even though people can just be like, but why don't you want my life? That's not considered rude, sure. Um, but also, from the making of friends perspective, it's really difficult to have a life that feels fulfilling that feels like you are serving yourself. Um, My baby is my book. I am an aspiring author. I'm writing this book and it is something that I am pouring my heart and soul into. Um, I love my relationship with my husband. It revolves around the two of us and the two of us bettering ourselves and setting goals and fulfilling those goals and all of these things. It doesn't revolve around, you know, a third or fourth or fifth person in our dynamic. Um, so I just get to invest in my partner. Um, it's really hard to find like common ground with people who maybe don't feel fulfilled in their role because there's just an inherent part of becoming a mom that is servitude. You have a being that depends on you. So servitude is just part of that. Um, and it's just, it's a barrier, it's a barrier, it's a friction. And I think often as a child-free person, I act as a bit of a mirror to people who maybe didn't realize that that fulfillment would not be there or maybe have regrets or maybe miss who they were before. Um, And it's just, it's really hard. It's super hard to make friends in that way. Now, again, I'm not saying that children is like a barrier to being a friend. Um, I'm just saying like, it's really hard to kind of overcome those differences in lifestyle and and things like that. Um, And I think there's just, I don't know, maybe the tism tisms on my side a little bit and I'm rude when I answer these questions or if I do answer these questions. And then I think maybe there's a a bit of jealousy on the other side when I posture that I have no interest in that lifestyle. Um, That was a long answer, but the core of it is I think I'm a mirror and it's, it's really hard to overcome. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this down in the comment section. Why do you think that mothers, some mothers, not all, some mothers are triggered by child-free women? I've done a couple of videos here before where mothers were like, oh, child-free women are selfish. Why would you say you don't want a child? Child is the most best thing that can ever happen to you. I've done a couple of videos on that. So let me know why you feel like some mothers are triggered by women that choose to go child free by choice anyway guys please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts love to know what you think about this conversation i love to know your thoughts but please 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 keep it respectful you're on this channel we're allowed to disagree but we do it in a respectful way so go ahead and share your thoughts 
So for me personally, like, <laughs> I have so much to say about this because, but for me personally, this is where I feel like a whole lot of them still don't get it, they still don't know. Like if you ask most people that have children, which I have done that a couple of times, and I ask them like, okay, so now that you have the children, the purpose that you thought you were having the children, what was the purpose? And are you achieving those purposes? And a lot of people I have in my life that have children from my sisters, my friends, they always find a way to like, oh, I want to let go of this. Like, I want to drop the child. Not that they don't love their kids. They love their kids, but they're looking for who's going to help them. Like the other woman said, like a village to help them raise the child. But those are the things that as a woman, you are not thinking before you choose to procreate and have a child. Those are the things that you're not thinking about how you're going to be the one to do 150% of the work of raising the child and all that. So now that the reality has hit and some of them are like, you know what? So I feel like personally, one of the reasons why I feel like some mothers are still triggered is because they are still in the illusion of pregnancy or having a child is the only thing, the only achievement a woman can have. I feel like they've not gone to that place where they've searched for themselves, they've healed your trauma, they've started on learning some of the things society has taught them. So they usually feel like if you're not doing it, then what other purpose you have in life if you don't have a child. So I feel like that's one of the reasons. Like some of them genuinely, genuinely believe that you should have kids like because they have kids and because society expects you to have kids. And I feel like those are women that have not started asking the question, why do I have kids? Why should I, uh, why should I even raise a kid? Am I a good mother? Can I afford it? Am I ready for the mental and physical and spiritual stress that comes with it? A lot of women get into having kids without really knowing what it entails and everything that comes with having kids. And that brings me to my number two reason why I feel like some mothers are triggered by child-free women is the fact that some misery love company, like the other sister said, misery love company. Some of them, they feel like they've done it, then you should do it too. Like if I can do it, if I can pull through it, then you should do it. I remember when I was telling my mom that I'm going child free, like I don't want kids. And you know, in an African house, so that's a no no, especially for my first daughter. Like it's a no no, like voila, fight good day. Like you have to have kids. Like I was going. But when I asked, and she was like, oh, why? We're having a conversation, and she was like, oh, but why? And I was like, um, you gave birth to six children. What did you do? What, 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 what was the greatest achievement for it? And she was like, at least you are taking care of me. Now you are looking after me. I have you people. And I was like, you see, that's the selfish reason because you have us for your own reason. Having that amazing conversation with my mom. And I said, like, so you want me to be in the same cycle with you where there's no guarantee because I am in no contact with my father. And if he chooses to, and I told her, like, if he chooses to have kids like me just so that he always has somebody, now I'm in no contact with him. So that part of why you are glad that you have kids is gone. So there's no guarantee that you're going to have that. And she was like, mm, mm. And I'm like, one of the most selfless things anybody can do and talk about the money, the stress, every other thing that comes with having kids. These are the things that a lot of people are not ready to have the conversation. A lot of women are not ready to have that honest conversation. Like, you know what, do I, can I really, do I really want kids? And how does having a kid serve me? And how does a kid, um, does it make my life easier? Does it make my life better? Are you trying to prove to the world that you can have kids? Like why? So I feel like a lot of women, they do it out of misery, love company. So they lure you, even a lot of African mothers lure their children to have kids, get married, without really telling them what it entails to do those things. Getting married, having, have been pregnant, having kids. There's this thing they do here in Nigeria. When you talk, when you're pregnant and you're asking them um, like questions about pregnancy, what it entails and all that, a lot of the time they always tell you that, don't worry, you will experience it, it's not that bad. Until you now experience it, then you're like, and when the next generation comes, you tell them, don't worry, it's okay. If I can do it, you can do it. So I feel like it's just misery love company, and they are just some of them genuinely believe that's the only purpose you can do and you can fulfill as a woman. But I feel like a lot of child free people, uh, a lot of women, like the other um, sister said, that are women that have always, including men too, that have asked themselves, they have, they, they've healed their trauma, they've unlearned a lot of the things that society has implanted in us, especially as kids, as young women, and now they are living their truths, they are living life unapologetically, 
they don't care what people think about them because a lot of the time, especially in my culture, a lot of people have children because of how how society perceives them. And other sisters, moms, aunties want you because they care so much about what society, how society is going to see you. And secondly, mystery love company. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about these amazing conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. You're on the channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So feel free to share your thoughts. Okay. With that all said, go on and share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that'll be you supporting this channel and this girl yeah with that i say subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video deuces